Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Dr. Albert Woods Dumas Sr. was born September 9, 1876 in Homa, Louisiana. His father was born a slave on Magnolia Plantation in Homa. Dr. Dumas studied under W.M. Francis Walt of Chicago, Illinois and graduated from Illinois Medical College. In 1899, he received his Mississippi license and began practicing medicine in Natchez in 1899. He first practiced with Dr. John Banks, the first African-American doctor to practice medicine in Natchez. Dumas had a distinguished medical career in Natchez and in 1941 was elected president of the National Medical Association, the African-American equivalent to the American Medical Association, which did not accept African-American doctors as members. He was also twice elected as president of the Mississippi Medical and Surgical Association. Dr. Dumas also admitted a non-stopping trocar and canula, a device which was used for safe and effective drawing of body fluids. Dumas was also successful in business and was the primary developer of the north side of the 700 block of Franklin Street. He was one of the founders of the Bluff City Savings and Loan Company. His fine two-story brick office building with drugstore still stands on Franklin Street. Alfred Woods Dumas Sr. died in 1945 at the age of 69 years. Hi, my name is Latrice Ramsey and I'm a senior at Natchez High School and this has been your Natchez History Minute.